G'day, so in this video we're going to be looking at sketching tan graphs. So we'll get into the question here, sketch the graph of each of the following. Uh, so we've just got this one example, tan of 2x and over negative pi to pi. So you'll see all I've done already is uh, drawn on our x-axis here, negative pi to pi, so that's going to be where our graph is going over. So just like with uh, sine and cosine graphs, tangent graphs are similar. We need to work out a period, okay? But it's a little bit of a different formula. So our period, this is equal to pi over b, okay? It was 2 pi over b in our previous one. So this one is equal to pi over 2. Okay, so first, that's the period for our tan graphs. Secondly, uh, we have another bit of information. We need to find our asthmatopes because these look a bit different. So our x asthmatope, and this is where it starts. Okay. So the equation for this is this is equal to plus or minus our pi over 2b. So this here is equal to pi, or plus or minus, pi on 2b. So our b value is 2 here, because it's 2 times x. So pi on 4. So there are our starting asthmatopes. And then after it, it's every period. So these are the two bits of information you need before you can sketch your graph. So now we can get to sketching. So first we set up our x um, asthmatopes that we just identified there. So pi on 4, that's in between 0 and pi on 2. Okay, so that's right in the middle here. So these are these points here. These are our asthmatopes. So we just draw a dashed line, remember, for asthmatopes. There's one of them, other one's here. Oh, just make sure we label these as well. So this one is pi on 4. This one's negative oh, pi on 4. So then our next one is after every period. Our period is pi on 2, so pi on 2 is two of these little dashes here, so that makes it a bit easier to recognise. But this is going to be our next one here, in the positive scale, and our next one in the negative scale is going to be here. Um, my writing might overlap this, but we'll see. Ah, uh, no, I think it'll be right. So now, with this one here, uh, we'll just label these, this is 3 pi, on 4, then hopefully you guess it, this one's negative 3 pi on 4. Alright, so tangent graphs actually sort of go up and down, and they keep working in the same cycle. So, we'll start off the one in the middle here, and I'll do this in green. So, it goes through 0, 0 here, and we start off down the bottom here, and it Remember, asthmatopes are a point that it gets closer to but never touches. And they end up looking, hopefully I, oh, just imagine that one's not touching that. I'll do that one again, just so it's not touching it. So they end up looking sort of, well, like this, okay? So this is just a rough sketch of it. Um, you can get into the X and Y values, but it isn't asking us for this question. So yet again, you can show points on your um, graph just to be a bit more clear if you want to, depending on the question, um, what it's asking. And this keeps happening in each one of these little gaps here. So we just draw the same thing. Try and get them pretty similar to how they're looking here in each one. Okay, yet again, this one only goes over half the period, so we only need to draw the first half of it. Okay, 
so the first half of it, and then we stop there, okay? If you go any further, you're actually going not over that domain. Technically, that's wrong, all right? We do the same in the negatives here. I'll try and draw these ones a bit quicker. So forgive me if they're a little bit um, not the best. All right, and lastly, this one's looking at the second half, but the top half, so we start from here, and then... I always find it hard, harder doing half of one, okay? And it will look something like that. And these just continue cycling over and over again, just like your sine and cosine and breaking it down like that. So hopefully now you get an idea of what tan graphs look like, how you work out the period, how you work out the starting x asymptotes, and then just there after each one is the period. So just make sure that you break it down like this whenever you are approaching tan graphs. If you have your CAS there, make sure that you have a look at it and just make sure that you are doing the right thing as well. So that's always a good way to check. So hopefully this helps and good luck with sketching tan graphs.